Hello everyone and welcome to a new ATFX video. My name is Gonzalo Canete and I'm here one more time to give you in this occasion a review on Meta. Just before the results of the company, before the earnings presentation, I want to share with you all details, not only the numbers from a fundamental perspective, not only the charts from a technical analysis perspective, but also a review of the company in the last news, the last projects, challenge they have on the horizon. In summary, um, all details of the company that I believe is probably the best update you can find uh, in relation of Meta just before the results. Uh, so keep you uh, updated on that. Let me share the screen with you because as usual, I have prepared a presentation to follow uh, every detail step by step. And remember, if you, if you didn't subscribe our channel yet, click on subscription button, click on subscribe, subscribe the channel. Also click on the bell to receive notification anytime we update new uh, updates. And if you are following with the channel, you know how amazing is probably the work we are doing with this information. Uh, let's go to the main key points of the company. First of all, massive user base, 3.3 billion of potential clients. If you summarize Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp is massive. It's probably one of the biggest database in the world. And therefore the potential they have to promote any kind of business product service through the through the platform is um, is massive. That's why the revenue growth is uh, driving by uh, advertising solutions like Google. Uh, exactly the same the same uh, core business. They can make a lot of money just basically um, using the access to the information they have on the clients. But basically, the algorithms. They got the algorithms that they are optimized, uh, knowing the um, the users of their platforms, and therefore they obviously are the the best. The, this kind of technology, Meta, Google, they are the best knowing about you even more than you know about yourself. And therefore, uh, it's a gold mine for every single big company who want to promote their services to the clients and grow fast. They got Meta, they got Google, and that's why the advertising solutions is one of the main source of incomes of these kind of companies. A stock performance, significantly recovering the stock's value over the past two years. We're going to take a look on that in a few minutes on the charts. Um, Tech industry position Meta has a strong play in the tech industry. It's one of the top seven biggest companies. Um, we say that the top seven on the technological sector, but it's not only because of technological sector. It's because overall, by market capitalization, it's one of the biggest companies uh, in the world. Um, one of the biggest in the United States, and obviously, the United States is one of the biggest markets in the world. Let me share the whole screen so you can see all details here. Um, let's take a look. User growth and engagement. User account, 3.27 billions of users in 2024. We mentioned that already. The opportunity to promote pr product services is massive. Uh, WhatsApp, Thread, other platforms, Instagram, uh, you know. Uh, engaged drivers, uh, Meta, AI, and Unified Recommendation Algorithms are boosting short-term engagement and ad impressions. Again, they optimize the advertisements, the marketing done by uh, these platforms supposed to be super optimized because they got more information about the users than no one else, even the they users themselves. Ad impressions, driving by user count, engagement and ad load with Meta AI playing criteria role. The thing that Meta is sell selling right now to the shareholders and to the investors is they invest in a lot of money in AI and therefore the algorithms they're using are super optimized by AI and they know better than no one uh, what is what is the trend of the users in order to launch any kind of product or service to um, any other big company who are looking for, um, like I say, fast growth of the products and services. Meta is offering to you. Look, I know really well um, 3.27 users in the world. I know what they're doing. I don't know how they how, how they act, what they click, what they set, and therefore uh, I can launch your product better than no one. Um, advertiser strength and innovation. Uh, over 10 million unique advertisers. Uh, so imagine also the base of clients they have. Ad pricing, strengthening demand, reflecting in growth price per ad, uh, concurrent with uh, ad impressions. CRM integration, very interesting thing because they got a massive biggest database in the world. They also offer new capabilities to integrate your clients as a CRM directly from Meta, from Facebook. You can just basically link your uh, CRM with uh, Facebook and their 40s. Well, 
saving a lot of work, a lot of time, connecting everything. Meta Advantage, uh, AI promoter, uh, uh, power platform for automate and campaigns, optimizing, targeting, creative, and more. It basically has a marketing tool. It also has a marketing tool for those ones who try to um, promote products and services again. Um, emerging revenue streams, WhatsApp, rapid growth with over 100 million users in the United States, click to measure it. Advertisements and WhatsApp business. Also, the new functions they open in WhatsApp is not just messaging, it's also give to you access to a new services. We have seen how um, it's growing a lot, uh, all the kind of business that they are directly giving to you a WhatsApp line to contact them, to book appointments, to book um, a dinner in a restaurant and so on. Yama, the uh, AI platform they use, direct monetization through revenue share with um, uh, Carlos, um, Levering uh, large uh, language models, LLM. Uh, threats, uh, aiming to become a billion user platform, contributing to future monetization. You know that uh, Threads born has a competitor of X um, and IR and VR, uh, uh, virtual reality. Success initiatives like Meta, ray -Bans, Quest and Orion demo, uh, positioning Meta for future growth in uh, virtual reality. Um, Finance, outlook, and valuation, profitability, strong execution and fitness with operation margins returning to pre ATT levels despite reality love losses. Well, overall, I will go to the most imp uh, important points I will say, which is target price. Um, prior fundamentals, this, uh, this is uh, part of the report from Seeking Alpha. They give you a, a target price of $710 per share. We are going to take a look if that's realistic or not based on the charts. Um, by the end of 2025, so it's a long-term uh, target price, reflecting a 23% 23, 23 upside with fair multiplied by 25 plus. Uh, so again, all of them in general terms are giving to you upside more than downside risk, and therefore they, con they, they believe the recommendation in general terms is by. As you know, this is not a recommendation of any kind. This is not an advice of any kind. I'm just sharing with you the information. Uh, consult with a financial advisor if you are considering to invest. Let me share the whole screen in this case. As you can see here, um, what we can see is um, impressive growth in, in terms of research and development, which is related with AI, and also uh, tax expensive. You can see that it's also uh, rising significantly from one year to another. And the projection is also really impressive because the numbers are growing. Um, uh, the expectation they got, the projection of those numbers for the coming years is is a massive growth and therefore we if we believe in the projection they're doing should be fine um from a financial risk perspective it's also very interesting to analyze this because as you can see here the equity is growing uh we got this chart is growing constantly while the liabilities is still stable therefore again uh low financial leverage and therefore low risk you can also see the assets are in short term, the assets are overpassing by far the liabilities, and in long term, the assets are overpassing at least three times the liabilities, and therefore, really good signal, low financial leverage, and low risk, therefore. Now, finally, going to the charts. As you can see, this is a long-term chart coming from 2018. Um, you see that the most important level that we broke out in the last, in the last um, year, it was $390 per share. Uh, after that, we have seen also this kind of pivot point because this movement is basically a projection of the previous one. Uh, we have seen a pivot point around $530 per share. And that's why I believe, I believe the next maximum, the next level, the next target, while the price will probably will stop is at $650. $650 a target price with a potential support in $530. And therefore, if we see Meta dropping to $530, probably is an area with a lot of uh, new buyers going to come into the company and therefore pushing the market up again. Now, let's take a look into, into short term and the picture is not changing in short term. If we go to short term, we can see clearly $530 in this super important resistance that now is a strong support. That's why I believe that in worst case scenario, even if the things are going bad in terms of the results of Meta, even if we see any kind of disappointment or they, they let the investors down uh, on the results, uh, still $530 is probably a very important support now and therefore probably a good entries for new buyers, new, um, new shareholders on the company. Best scenario, if the company is uh, keeping the channel constantly, 
um, and maintain the structure of this uptrend, probably we will see the price getting close to $650 per share in the coming weeks, which is amazing, okay? Uh, well, I think that's all. Uh, let me know if you got any questions on the comments and please subscribe to our channel and give me a thumb up if you like this content. See you in the next coming reports. Bye-bye.